In this video I want to show you how to make a flight plan for a medium sized roof with your Mavic 3 Enterprise. In your main screen you go to the left hand side to the flight route. Uh, there you see all the routes that are on our drone already, but now we want to create a new route by pr pr pressing the plus button on the top right hand side. Now create route and uh, we want to do the route profile in the middle, so an uh, area. Um, so that's basically the uh, strategy that we are choosing. Everything else is for a different purpose. So please choose the uh, center button. And now we are directed to a uh, map view where we see where we with our remote controller and the if the drone is um, enabled or activated also the drone's position on a satellite map. So on the right hand side, you see different layers. Uh, one of them is a satellite map. So right now we first wanna tell the drone wh which object we wanna fly. So we are choosing uh, this um, small building at first. Uh, so that would be an, yeah, more or less easy task to do if you need some additional points so like a medium sized roof with uh, some uh, more edges and angles then you can create uh, more points by pressing the plus buttons between two uh, points and then for example we can create or we can tell the drone that we want to measure or model these L formed um, roof section of the whole building. That's uh, the part where we tell where we want to fly. Then we are choosing the model of the drone, so the Mavic 3E series, series and the camera model, the Mavic 3E wide uh, camera. So wide uh, camera is the like normal surveying camera for all the drones of DJI um, that we are using in order to acquire our data. Then we press OK and then we can give a name to our route. So you can uh, yeah, name it in any way you want. For example, uh, in our case, Airclip. Then we have the model and we can choose between an auto collection and an oblique collection. Um, in this case, the difference is that with auto collection, you uh, do only 2D um, uh, reconstruction, but now we want, usually want to fly 3D. So we want to fly missions that, where we can create a really beautiful 3D model. So we are choosing the oblique connection, uh, collection where our camera will be tilted to some degree meaning um, that we are looking from a certain angle uh, to our building and that the drone will fly um, along the green lines from a a every direction over the building and take some in images. Then we can choose between smart oblique or uh, not smart oblique. So if we are deactivating a smart oblique, um, the drone will fly a few more uh, um, lines, but we would recommend to deactivate a, um, oblique flight right now because uh, the flight area is getting too large. Then we are inserting the root height, so the, the flight height basically. Um, yeah, good value here to start is usually something between 30 and 50 meters. Please keep in mind that you have to be clear of obstacles uh, in the vicinity of the building. So uh, within uh, 40 meters, you're usually above all the trees. Uh, Auto GSD means the ground sampling distance. So how large is a pixel in the 
um, image, the images that are taken on the ground and the oblique GSD 1.14 uh, is the uh, uh, oblique image, so the tilted uh, image um, pixel size, basically. Then you see five roots. These are the roots that the drone will fly after each other. So I recommend that you just um, have uh, half an hour on, in the field, so somewhere where you have enough space and just try uh, yourself um, to uh, fly this route. Then you see that the drone uh, flies all the green areas. For the gimbal tilt, um, we can choose uh, how, let's let's say, how um, uh, oblique or what's what will be the tilt of the of the camera. Uh, we um, recommend to have a tilt of about. 60 to 70 degrees, 70 degrees is usually enough um, uh, because with uh, some uh, higher, higher tilt, you get better facades, better vertical structures, but the drone flies a really large area, as you see in the left-hand side and the blue marked area. And um, yeah, just play around with these a little bit, then you understand what's going on. Uh, but these are the uh, parameters that we would recommend. Then we can also edit the course angle. Um, please uh, fly according to the uh, building dimensions. So basically parallel to the two L's that we have, then we go to advanced. Uh, parameters we can edit uh, first of all the um, um, height to your uh, starting surface so um, we can tell the drone now that we are starting on a higher uh, um, um, height basically so if you are measuring industry or yeah, industry roofs, commercial roofs, flat roofs, then it could be possible that you are launching your drone from the roof itself. Then you would input the um, height of the roof. So for example, 10 meters that you are launching in 10 meters uh, height. Yeah, the rest, uh, everything else is good as it is. And uh, now these are all parameters set. Then let's. Uh, then you should go out, press the play button, and um, yeah, just uh, launch your drone. I would recommend to launch it on a field where you are clear of obstacles to test. And you can also edit as uh, I showed uh, a few seconds ago. Thank you for watching this video.